doing this will make the narcissist even worse. You can give the narcissist the world and in return not have a place in it. And sometimes you think you're giving them the world, but you're not. Sometimes their world is not your world. And this is because of how they were raised. It's because of their family. That's why they behave the way they behave. They have a distorted perception of love. It came from their family. They've been told they're nothing. They're worthless. They're never going to be anything. This is how narcissistic parents speak to their children. But after all of these things have been said and done to the narcissist, you later try to be involved with them. You try to have a relationship with someone who has never seen what real love is. All they've seen is manipulation. All they've seen is lying. And they've learned that being caring and loving is not a good idea. They learned at a young age that you need to manipulate and lie to get what you want. You have to tell people what they want to hear. Everything you see from the narcissist is what they've learned throughout their lives from other people, especially people in their family. Love is not something that they can accept. They think love is for fools. Because at one point, the narcissist tried to love someone and then they were taken for a fool. They were taken for a ride. They were cheated. They were tricked. Which is why no matter how much love and care you give to the narcissist, no matter how much you try to show them that you're in their corner, you're on their side, they've never seen anything like that before. They've never seen that in their lives. Because of their parent, or because of their surrounding environment, they don't believe that they are lovable. They don't believe that they are able to be loved. They don't believe that they are good enough to keep you. They believe that at some point they're going to mess it up. And the more you try to love them, the more you're just going to realize how messed up they are. That's how they're thinking. Which is why they begin to hate love. If you try to love them, they see it as an insult. It's something offensive to them. Which is why they end up becoming so bitter and resentful towards you. They begin to hate you. And they think you're stupid for trying to love them because they know they're not meant to be loved. Which is where we need to stop and look at ourselves. Because as empaths, we often love people who are not even loving us back. We care for people who don't even care for us. We don't realize that we're not getting anything back in return. There's no reciprocation. But this is how the dynamic is able to play out between someone who is kind and caring and someone who is broken. Because you are drawn to it. 
When you see someone in need, you can't help yourself, but you're doing it for the wrong people because you don't realize that not everyone should be loved equally. Empathic people want to help. They want to give their assistance and then they want to come back to see how things are going. They want to stay in contact because they have to continue until something is finished or else they won't feel right about it which is why empaths are perfect for narcissists because they can trick you they can fool you they can make you help them they can make you try to fix things And you may want them to see that their actions or beliefs are wrong. You may want them to realize and admit that they made a mistake or behave badly. But when you do that, they turn against you. They become very oppositional to you. They start to become a duty or responsibility that is hard to bear. Because they start doing things that you have to fix or repair. They deliberately mess things up. They cause worry and difficulty. They become very annoying and tedious. They're always causing trouble. They're always up to something. While well, you're helping them with all of these things. It just makes you wonder why they can't just begin to live in a good and sensible way. But they are doing this deliberately and intentionally because they know that empaths will overlook the abuse. They will overlook unfairness and ill treatment, things that other people would not tolerate, which is why they love empaths. But then they also begin to hate them because it reminds them if someone is loving and caring for them, they should be getting better. They should be correcting the errors of their ways. They should be becoming a better person. But they're not. Because they can't receive love. They don't understand love. It doesn't make any sense to them. They think you're just trying to use them. They think you're trying to manipulate them. That's what they were taught by their parents. People are not real or genuine. They're all fake. They're all trying to get something from you. So the narcissist is not going to let that happen to them. They're going to cause disruption. They're going to act out. And because you love them, you may put in a lot of effort. You may try to help them. You may try to fix them. But it just makes them worse and worse. Once they can see that you're still going to put in the effort, it just makes them test the waters. It makes them up their game. It makes them ramp up the abuse. So they can see how much you really love them. They just see it as a game. They will do all of these sick and twisted things to you to see if you will put up with it. And to make you show more concern. To make you more involved when really you should be running away you should be getting rid of them because if you continue to be involved despite how they have treated you you will become their grade A supply because they're deliberately doing all of these things just to see how far they can take it. 
to see what you're willing to tolerate, to see how much you can take before you finally cut them off. They don't even care about the relationship. They just want to see what they can get away with. There's no such thing as a relationship with a narcissist. It's always a game. They make fun of you. They make a fool out of you. Because they don't believe that they can be loved. And many of them don't want to be loved. The more you love them, the more they will see you as a fool. Because this has happened to them before. But you need to recognize that a normal person would not sabotage help. A normal person would not behave that way when someone is trying to take care of them and make sure that they are treated well. They wouldn't get worse, they would get better. When you are giving your love, care and assistance to someone, you should be receiving something in return. You should be receiving gratitude, appreciation and respect. But you never got that from the narcissist. They don't understand that these things they're doing come with consequences. They don't realize that by doing all of these things, there's going to be a negative or unfavorable response, something that will later affect them. They don't want to deal with that, which is why many of them later disappear. Or they will want to pick up from when things were good. When you choose to invest your feelings and emotions into someone, you need to ensure that this person is reasonable and sensible. You need to ensure that they are in their right mind so that they can understand love and receive it without trying to destroy it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries. You can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.